So, Inua. <laughs> Nadia. Tell me, um, why, why did you want to adapt Three Sisters to Nigeria? I think the reason why I chose to set it in Nigeria is because I'm not black British, I'm Nigerian. And I couldn't write about the black British experience without trying to fake something that I'm not. Mm. And I know lots of black British writers who I know could do that far better than I could. It's set before, during and after the Biafran yes, War. Yeah. A war that I knew vaguely because my Asian grandparents sort yeah. of found themselves in the midst of it. Mm. And, but I didn't know a lot about it. And it was so weird because when we were meeting actors and auditioning actors, and people whose family and heritage is Nigerian, lots of people said, look, my family haven't even spoken about yeah. their time in the war. Yeah. It's like so raw and so present in people's, you know, there's not been a play that I know or you know about it. So I just think, you know, I, I, I like that about it, that it was yeah. um, putting a light on a history that was sort of forgotten or not yet spoken about. Yeah. There's people that, Nigerian community that might be seeing this play and going, that's my history. Yeah. And how they respond to that, you know, and, and the duty of that is just like huge. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified a bit mm. um, because in the makeup of the war, um, the Hausas, my people, my tribe, were the enemies here. We were the one who instigated the second coup, who were killing the thousands of Igbos across, who instigated this, this journey right across the country, millions of people fleeing. So for me to tell this story, I'm really nervous about and it. From, but, you're, but you're nervous about it, but you've t told it from the point of view of the other culture, mm. that you've written the play from an Igbo, Biafran point of view yeah. because your family your heritage is northern which yeah. is a whole different culture and people yeah. and the conflict was between north and southeast. Yeah, southeast and from a completely objective point of view I think in this it's really hard to know who the bad guys are at any given yeah. moment and I think there's still a sort of unresolved tone to I, I, it which is very Chekhovian yeah for, for me it's it's always difficult to to fight. I have this natural thing where I empathize with the underdogs all the time. Yeah, me too. All, all the time. But also within that, there is politics and no one, there, there are no black and whites in war. There are always reasons to pick up arms, right? Mm. And it's, it's the melee and the confusion of it, which is where I think human beings and our truer selves come out of that, you know, where, where it's like being on a microscope and there's light everywhere and the darkest and both our light side come to the surface. And for me, I just wanted to show how impossible the situation it is to turn this, to click, you know, to this, to distinguish light from there, right from wrong, you're just in it. I love that it is political. There is a discussion that's reoccurring in the play about mm. the blood on the hands of the British yeah, being yeah, yeah. the post, you know, it's a post-colonial Nigeria, yeah. but only freshly so. Yeah. So, so, you know, they're still living in the echo uh, of, of colonialization yeah. and also the sort of arms deals and the oil and actually it's a tale as old as time. Anytime yeah. you'd make a play about an ex-colony, you know, whether it's South Asia or my people mm -hmm. or Nigeria, and, and it's just like this reoccurring theme, which is political, and it shows that we've all got skin in the game. Yeah. You know, like, so it's not just a Nigerian audience, a British audience, this is British history this as well. This is British history, yeah. yeah. I think the offer of this play is also for students, both, um, you know, students in drama school, and, and but also anyone who knows Three Sisters, the Chekhov play, and has adapted it for the British audience, but mm. not never situated within British history. We've right. just had, you know, and I think the, the play's offer is, is to do all of those things. This is British history, but a history that you're not aware of or might not have been fully aware of, and we're inviting audiences into that world. But you can recognize it. Can That's the thing. You don't need to know anything about Nigeria, the Biafran War, yeah. uh, or read a textbook, but you might want to read one afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but do you think this play could be put on now in Nigeria? No. Not at all? Definitely not. I mean, the historians and intellectuals in Nigeria still argue about what caused the war, so it isn't taught in school. Like, like that's, how, that's how much a contentious subject it is like even they don't ad agree about how it started therefore they're not teaching people around it, about it so this couldn't be staged in nigeria not now <laughs>